What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on uh, March 7th, 2020, about 7.55 p.m. West Coast time here. And going to do an update video on the earthquake activity out here worldwide. Uh, a little bit of earthquake activity to talk about this evening. Um, just FYI, I did make it home safely from the uh, trip out there in Texas which provided me with quite a bit of uh, entertainment for a couple nights there. Some thunderstorm activity uh, taking place out there in Texas and whatnot. So it's pretty crazy driving around in the dark with no data, uh, driving into some severe thunderstorms uh, without knowing what's going on. So yeah, <laughs> crazy to say the least. Uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D Globe, folks. Um, there was that 5.5 earthquake that took place last night, early this morning, off of the coast of uh, right around Baja, California region there. You can see that large circle there, 5.5, and the blue flag. Since then, there has been quite a bit of earthquake activity stretching up northward towards uh, Southern California there into the Ridgecrest area, uh, where we've seen quite a few threes. There's a... Uh, 3.7, 3.8, uh, 3.4, and a 2.5 in there as well. That uh, kind of struck the Ridgecrest area. And that uh, is a little bit better shown here in this map. See if I can bring it up here. So this here is the... Uh, okay, hold on one second here. One second, folks. Preparedness is not my name. <clears throat> and also, I picked up, <laughs> I picked up a little cold along the way, folks. Traveling out there through uh, a couple different airports, I traveled down to uh, uh, Long Beach, California, when I left for Texas, and then uh, from uh, Long Beach, traveled into Austin, Texas. And uh, like I said, spent. A week out there in Texas and then uh, traveled from Austin back to San Francisco and then uh, San Francisco back to Sacramento California and I uh, picked up a little cold out here I don't believe it's the coronavirus because I don't have any fever just your standard cold so if you can hear that in my voice that's uh, or at least in my nose kind of kind of got a little stuffy nose tonight so other than that, I think I'm fine. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I hope not. And uh, anyway, folks, getting back to the earthquake video update here. You can see the Ridgecrest area view, uh, Southern California here. A little bit of activity, folks. Like I mentioned, um, the only concerning factor is the uptick in the larger magnitudes that have been kind of taking place a little bit to the north of the Ridgecrest area here. You can see this swarm of activity um, separate from the Ridgecrest region here all by itself uh, let's bring that into the view right there and that's uh, a little interesting right because that's well away from the Ridgecrest area so this renewed activity if you will is uh, taking place down there let's go ahead and look at the satellite view here real quick uh, see if I can find it yeah, I got a stuffy nose and it's not good. Alrighty, here we go. Alrighty, hold on one second, folks. All right, so yeah, I thought I'd have to redo the update video real quick, but I think we're okay. Um, Taking a look at this scale right here, you can see these weird blobs of old magma, right? These are old, ancient volcanic activity uh, type structures out here, folks, that you can see throughout the land here in Southern California. You know, walking down Hollywood, 
admiring those superstars, you're not going to even think about stuff like this. But geographically, uh, there's there's definitely been quite a bit of volcanic activity in Southern California. Uh, pretty interesting to look at. This activity not taking place too far from those ancient volcanic domes there, those those uh, mounds, if you will, of uh, volcanic activity. Um, and this activity here taking place. We'll zoom in a little bit more here and see if we can get a little bit better detail. Not, not structurally, a uh, any type of defined dome out there. This activity, all this cluster of activity, 15 earthquakes here in this region, taking place roughly about two kilometers below the surface there, uh, and you can see it uh, spread out sporadically in the land there in Southern California. But like I said, very close. To, uh, some very interesting activity that folks walking down Hollywood Boulevard wouldn't even think about um, so yeah <laughs> uh, let me tell you folks it's crazy I can't even believe I, I don't even want to get into it but I cannot believe some of the stuff I've been seeing on social media people fighting over uh, toilet paper because of the coronavirus um, uh, I'm ashamed to be a human right now. I'm not even joking. This uh, this event reminds me strictly of a movie called um, Idiocracy. I don't know if you folks seen it before or not. Idiocracy. I'm always talking about idiots because there's plenty of freaking idiots out there. And I ran across them uh, my last trip, but... uh. There's idiots out there that uh, you have to post a warning label on pretty much everything that you drink, you use. I mean, shampoo. Why do you have to freaking put a damn warning label on a shampoo bottle, right? Well, that's because of idiots. I mean, there's, there's a lot of idiots out there. They're humans, yes, but you know what? They're idiots, and unfortunately... Uh, it probably should have been eliminated a long time ago, uh, but <laughs> just getting off focus here, folks. I tell you what, I don't think I completely recovered from my trip. It's just uh, one of those nights where uh, it's going to be interesting, let me tell you. Getting back real quick to the update earthquake video update I pro should probably restart this update right nah I think we're okay anyway folks that mound or that uh, sequence of earthquake activity out there northwest of Ridgecrest has taken place right you, you, can, you guys can see that cluster out there about 30 earthquakes or so taking place out there also some renewed earthquake following that let's go up here See if I can find it here. Uh, well, yeah, here we go. Way out here. You can see the red circle and a couple orange quakes there, yellow quakes. Uh, out here in this region. Not a big earthquake out here. But we are seeing a major increase in earthquake activity here in Southern California following that 5.5 that took place down there south of Baja California and we'll go ahead and shoot down into that region right now my sucks having a stuffy nose let me tell you let me tell you Let's see if I can find that earthquake here looks like uh well it looks like it's actually dropped off of that 24 hour period but we can go ahead and bring that back here real quick let's go with the last seven days 4.5 and above so that's going to be this little yellow circle here um, out there along that plate boundary right Pacific plate and North American plate and whether you call it the El Rio plate or the San Andreas fault or the Imperial fault system there it's all one in the same when it comes to the plate boundary doesn't matter what eth ethnicity oh, never mind doesn't matter what language you want to call it there it's uh it's part of a plate boundary here regardless of what your 
uh, languages out here. North American plate over here to the east. Pacific plate over here to the west. That red line there indicating that plate boundary in itself there, folks. That 5.5 took place. No aftershock activity following that 5.5, which is rather interesting to say the least there. Here's the uh, little bit better view, close-up view, if you will. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this keyed in here a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to work the way I want it to, but it's okay. We'll figure it out here. Here's a little bit better view, right? Baja, California region. You got Mexico and uh, whatnot going over here. This kind of shows you the plate boundary direction of movement here. North American plate there, scooting towards the south east. Pacific plate scooting towards the northwest. And of course in between you got all the uh, all the movement there. So the activity that we're kind of seeing right in Southern California is the response of the movement that we've seen, the 5.5 in Baja, California. Um that's kind of expected there. That's uh, the response there of the Southern California earthquakes there. Is, uh, that's very, very expected. Hold on here. Oh, shoot. Kind of messed that up a little bit. I messed it up. Ah, uh, let me see here. See if I can figure this out. It's just been one of those days, folks. I'm just not completely recovered from the long trip here. So, um, uh, let's just go back to 2.5 and above. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this thing going here. So yeah, no doubt expected, folks, from that 5.5 that we should see further increase in earth earthquake activity to the north of that 5.5, which, of course, we've seen um, in a moderate magnitude range. Nothing big in this area. Like I said, a couple threes in the Ridgecrest area. Kind of an increase from the normal earthquake activity that we've seen over the past couple months or so. Gosh darn it, man. My nose is just getting stuffy as heck. Uh, there's people coughing and sneezing on the plane, and it's just, it was horrible. It's like, what the heck do I do? I didn't have a mask with me. But uh, it is what it is. Coronavirus, here I come. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, folks, um, just a, it's just been a scattered brain of uh, earthquake update video tonight, let me tell you. I did look at the Yellowstone seismograph stations there. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity occurring in Yellowstone tonight or over the past couple days. The 5.5 uh, showed up significant, significantly uh, there in that region from uh, the Baja region, but... Uh, other than that, not a whole lot of uh, earthquake activity that uh, was re was reported there in, in uh, Yellowstone. Gosh darn it. Here's just a, uh, a little bit closer view of the earthquake activity, the, the renewed earthquake activity there in Southern California uh, that took place here. Not anything to acknowledge out there folks uh, like I said this uh, earthquake activity there northwest of Ridgecrest is not on a butte is not on top of any type of volcano activity so it's uh, but it's something to watch folks I mean whenever whenever we see any type of new uh, activity outside of a already happening activity which is, of course, a Ridgecrest area. Um, it's something to pay attention to there. 5.5 in Baja may have triggered something. Um, 
that we need to pay attention to. So, uh, anyway, folks, it's uh, it's let me tell you, it's been an interesting night, and uh, like I said, I don't think I've recovered from the trip yet. It's it's been a uh, it's been one heck of a day, let me tell you. Yellowstone National Park there, looking pretty good out there with its live view and that is a live view no doubt um they have their night vision camera on which i admire quite often there they don't have it on too often but this here is a very good detailed night vision of uh yellowstone national park there I see quite a bit of steam coming up behind the trees and whatnot uh, of course, the moon may have something to do with this. The moon almost looks pretty full. It's pretty bright and beautiful here in Northern California. So, uh, no doubt it's playing a part at Yellowstone National Park as well with lighting up the features. So, uh, the more I talk, the more I get stuffed up. So, I'm going to call it a night, folks, I think. Uh, like I said, worldwide earthquake activity, deep earthquake activity on one side of the plate from the northwest to the southeast uh, south of Japan and also near Fiji we're seeing some deep earthquake activity uh, take place there so probably forgetting a whole lot of stuff the 5.2 took place off off the coast of uh, South America region earlier that was originally recorded as a 6.2 on certain seismograph stations there near Portugal, Portugal, but uh, it was downgraded to a 5.2 magnitude quake there. So anyway, folks, I'm going to jump off here uh, and call it a night, and hopefully I can feel a little bit better tomorrow, because uh, like I said, my nose is stuffed up, stuffed up, and <laughs> I can't think straight right now, so I'm going to call it a night. Please stay safe out there, folks, and uh, We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.